I go to church on Saturday because that's the true Sabbath. Our founder, Ellen White, even said that going to church on Sunday is the mark of the beast in Revelation and that true followers of Jesus will go to church on Saturday. For one, the description of the mark of the beast in Revelation strongly implies that this will be a physical mark on one's body that has nothing to do with what day of the week someone worships God. Besides, Christians are meant to worship God every day of the week. What if somebody went to church on both Saturday and Sunday? Would they still be a Christian in your eyes? It's true that the Old Testament Sabbath is Friday sunset to Saturday sunset, but the New Testament makes it clear that after the resurrection of Jesus, Christians began meeting on the first day of the week, which is Sunday. 1 Corinthians 16.2 specifically says, Now concerning the collection for the saints, as I have given orders to the churches of Galatia, so you must do also. On the first day of the week, let each one of you lay something aside. Acts 20 verse 7 says that on the first day of the week, when the disciples came together to break bread, Paul, ready to depart the next day, spoke to them and continued his message until midnight. But keeping the Sabbath is one of the Ten Commandments. Would you think it's fine to break any of the other Ten Commandments, like do not steal or do not murder? The Ten Commandments were given to ancient Israel along with over 600 other laws. So if you think that keeping the law justifies you before God, then you better keep every commandment perfectly. Because James 2.10 says that whoever shall keep the whole law and yet stumble in one point, he is guilty of all. So, do you keep the hundreds of other Old Testament laws? No. Nobody does, which is why we need the perfect blood of Jesus to cover us. Thankfully, the Bible makes it crystal clear that justification is by faith alone in Jesus Christ. Romans 3.28 says that man is justified by faith apart from the deeds of the law. And Galatians 2.21 says that if righteousness comes through the law, then Christ is dead in vain. Honestly, that's really refreshing. If you want to keep the Sabbath because you feel like it edifies you, then go for it. Just know that keeping the Sabbath does not get you into heaven, and you are not required to keep the Old Testament Sabbath to remain in good graces with God. Ironically, the New Testament encourages Christians to keep every one of the Ten Commandments except the Sabbath. As Colossians 2 says, Let no one judge you in food or in drink, or regarding a festival, or a new moon, or Sabbaths, which are a shadow of things to come, but the substance is of Christ.